evening and welcome to the National Honor Society's induction ceremony. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to Brockton High's 2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony. I'm Dr. Murray and I have the pleasure of not only introducing uh, some of our team here as administrators, but the superintendent, our advisor, and the students as well. Although we are celebrating under unusual circumstances, it does not diminish whatsoever our incredible students' academic achievements, involvement in our school and community, and with the tremendous character they've demonstrated throughout their years here, and especially these past nine months, it's really nothing short of remarkable, and we all are extremely proud of all of them. National Honor Society has existed since 1921, the tenets of which are four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. National Honor Society exists throughout our country and across the world. This ceremony is one of the most enjoyable of the year that we have at BHS. It is a pleasure to spend time with these students and their families. This recognition and honor allows us to showcase these amazing students for their academic prowess, dedication to our school, and in addition to their academics, we are able to acknowledge their significant contributions to Brockton High and the community at large as leaders in the most challenging of times. I would like to congratulate the parents and guardians of our students. We all know what a significant role you play in your student's success. Thank you for allowing us the privilege of working, learning, and getting to know these young adults and future leaders of our country. I'd also like to thank the amazing teachers who have worked over the years so diligently to make sure that learning is integral to their lives and their success. I'd like to congratulate all the inductees and their families on a job well done. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. I would like to introduce Superintendent Michael Thomas, who has a few words for the inductees. Thank you. Welcome parents, students, family members, and friends to the National Honor Society induction ceremony. Uh, students, I want to congratulate you on such a great honor. Um, I'm proud today, today to be able to, um, to honor you and uh, celebrate your achievement. I want to thank your parents, uh, your guardians, your family members, loved ones for all their support that helped you get to this day. Um, now more than ever, obviously, it's important for us to celebrate these great times with our loved ones. Again, congratulations. I'm honored that you are part of the Brockton Public Schools. Um, your future um, will see no bounds in how much you'll do going forward and how you will lead us forward. I congratulate you and I say have a great holiday season. Thank you. Good evening. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss O'Connell. I'm the advisor here um, at Brockton High School National Honor Society. Uh, I just want to say a quick congratulations to the inductees. You should be very proud of your success and I'm very proud of you. Um, I just also want to thank everyone who played a part in planning the ceremony tonight. We will now begin the candle lighting ceremony. The oldest tradition in the National Honor Society's induction ceremony is the candle lighting service. The candle that was just lit by Dr. Murray, Brockton High School's principal, represents eternal light of knowledge. Traditionally, a teacher lights this candle to symbolize the transference of knowledge from teacher to student or adult to child. The deans will light the next four candles, which represent the four pillars of National Honor Society. The officers will read about each pillar. One pillar of the National Honor Society is leadership. Leadership is a privilege that is earned when one exhibits reliability and dedication. Leadership focuses the work from the other pillars and guides them in their endeavor to enhance our school and community. It also requires initiative in class and school activities, as well as the self-confidence to go forward when others hesitate. The value of leadership lies in its ability to pass on to others the benefits of scholarship and character, that is, to teach by example. A leader is not driven by personal fulfillment. Instead, a leader strives to direct his or her talents, along with the talent of others, for the betterment of society. The second pillar of the National Honor Society is service. In the National Honor Society, service can be described as helping our school and our community. The willingness to perform such work for the benefit of those in need is a quality that we seek in our membership. 
Community service is the humanitarian aspect of this organization that inspires members to do their part in creating a better today and an even better tomorrow. National Honor Society members are committed to the idea of volunteering because they have come to realize that the sheer act of sacrificing one's time to aid another benefits the giver as well as the receiver. The third pillar of National Honor Society is scholarship. Scholarship is the ultimate symbol of knowledge. As knowledge can be acquired through patience and true effort, scholarships and students represent their commitment to learning. Honor Society members have proven they are willing to spend hours reading and studying because they know the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. Because scholarship is the key that unlocks the door to a fulfilling future, candidates continually have the ability to expand their world through opportunities inherent to scholarship, which is why we uphold it as a pillar. The fourth pillar of National Honor Society is character. Character is what distinguishes us from one another. Without character, one cannot respect oneself, nor hope to gain respect of others. It is the one element in our lives over which we have complete control. Thus, it is the source from which our self-respect evolves. It is the product of constant action as one strives daily to make the right choices. Character is a permanent force that guides us through life and defines the extent of our honor. Success, status, and even joy are often temporary, but one's character will always prevail. We will now begin our presentation honoring the inductees. Each house administration will introduce the inductees of their house. Mr. Donovan and Ms. Chula for the greenhouse, Ms. Kopp and Mr. Garsha for the red house, Ms. Alves and Mr. Foster for the azure house, and Mr. Ahern and Ms. Baker for the Yellow House. Welcome families, friends, and students. My name is Andrew Donovan. I'm the Dean of the Greenhouse, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to this year's National Honor Society inductees from the Greenhouse. Latifa Adon. Latifa is a member of the Brockton High School IB program and has consistently made the high honor roll over the past three years. She has been a member of the Brockton High field hockey team as well as Photo Voice, a program that raises awareness of the problems that everyday teens face. Congratulations, Latifa. Chrysla Brignol. Chrysla is caring and open-minded she thrives on challenges, often setting ambitious goals for herself. She aspires to one day be a forensic scientist. Her desire to help people no matter how challenging is one of her greatest attributes. Congratulations, Chrysler. Nicole Dunbury. Nicole is a very dedicated and driven student as well as an elite varsity athlete. Nicole wants to affect change in this world and help everyone she can along the way. She is a kind and respectful young adult and encourages others to succeed along with her. Congratulations, Nicole. Erica Fernandes. Erica is a determined career-driven student who is working hard to achieve goals in life. She always holds herself to the highest standards which is exemplified by her leadership and work ethic. Erica pushes herself, including enrolling in the full IB program at BHS, knowing that these accomplishments will open the doors to even greater opportunities down the road. Congratulations, Erica. Jakira Goncalves. Jakira is a persistent, ambitious, hardworking young woman her imaginative mind and sincere soul have helped her develop into the self-confident student she is today. With her warm heart and driven passion to help others, Jakira has never shied away from a challenge while she maintains her outstanding grades. Nice job, Jakira. Katherine Green. Katherine is a leader who is deeply involved in her community, as exemplified by community service with organizations including BYSL and Crossroads C5. Even during the challenges faced during remote learning, K-12 
Catherine's schooling has remained a top priority. Away from the classroom, Catherine enjoys spending time with her friends and family, as well as being a majorette for NEMA and for the Brockton High halftime team. Congratulations, Catherine. Caitlin Legault. Caitlin is a 16-year-old junior scholar who was enrolled in the Brockton High School IB program. When not in class, Caitlin is an athlete who plays both field hockey and softball. Congratulations to Caitlin. Madeline Miller. Along with being a top student, Madeline is also an accomplished dancer who always gives it her best. She works hard in everything she does, which shines through both inside and outside of school. She hopes to continue to work hard and accomplish great things while pursuing a career in the biomedical field. Congratulations, Madeline. Sophia Jiroji. Sophia has consistently achieved the honor roll throughout her high school career. She is an avid soccer player, member of Brockton High School Drama Club, and participant in the aviation program at Bridgewater State University, during which she got to fly an airplane. Sophia frequently volunteers in the community, at church, local food pantries, and also at a local horse stable. Congratulations, Sophia. Caden Perkins. Caden is a junior who has also made the honor roll for her whole Brockton High School career. She's a competitive gymnast who has won numerous awards and qualified for the state competition three years in a row. Caden is also a member of the drama club as well as the advanced concert band. Nice job, Caden. Rachel Remelian. Rachel is an ambitious young lady who embodies community service and excellence in education. At Brockton High School, she has challenged herself with rigorous courses, been a peer tutor, and participated in internships in multiple states, exemplifying her commitment to hard work. Great job, Rachel. Fetcher Tulin. Fetcher is a junior who has earned high honor roll throughout all of his high school career. He is a peer leader and tutor who is committed to helping other students reach their full potential. He simply loves to spread positivity. He is also a musician who plays for the BHS Advanced Concert Band as well as a senior jazz band. Congratulations, Fetcher. Nicholas Vega. Nicholas is a hardworking, dedicated student, along with his academic successes, also loves to play baseball. In his spare time, Nicholas also likes to spend time with his friends and family. Congratulations to you, Nicholas. Charmel Vilme. Charmel is a hardworking, goal-oriented student whose strengths include being a good listener and using her creativity whenever possible. Charmel has been active in community service since elementary school and always puts her best into everything she does. Recipient of the Excellence and Citizenship Awards, she is always trying to improve as a student as well as a member of the community. Congratulations, Charmel. And at this point, I'd like to congratulate all of the Greenhouse National Honor Society inductees. Great job. Good evening. My name is John Gasha, and I'm the Assistant Dean of the Red House here at Brockton High School. And I'm very pleased to be reading the names of the Red House inductees. Anna Anis. Anna is currently a junior and has been heavily involved in the choral and drama programs at Brockton High School for the past three years. Besides performing, Anna also enjoys helping others in the community through volunteering her time with the Special Olympics. 
Anna takes her studies seriously and has been enrolled in multiple high-level classes in the AP and IB programs. Loriana Barros. Daniel Brito Cruz. Daniel is a person who cares about the community and is a person who has helped the community in the streets of Brockton. He has helped the high school community and looks forward to helping whoever needs it. Nicholas Cannell. He's part of Brockton High's concert choir and he's a proud Colombian American and has been playing tennis for five years. Juliana Carrero Oliver. Juliana is an active player of Brockton High School field hockey's team. She's been consistently in high honor roll and is a part of the IB program. She is also an active member of the Brockton Parent Advisory Council. Leah Kayer. Leah is a great student averaging A's and B's. She plays volleyball for the high school team, a club team, and before COVID at the YMCA. She wants to major in psychology during college and become a criminal psychologist. Hillary Clark. Hillary has been a dancer for 15 years. In her free time, she loves to draw and paint and has won a few art contests. She also enjoys singing and is part of the BHS Concert Choir, Brock Bellas, and Chamber Singers. Mia Dansby. Mia is a high honor roll student athlete with a bright future ahead of her. She is bright, articulate, energetic, and family oriented. She is excited to pursue track and field and sports management in college. Annika DeGrace. Annika is a three sport athlete basketball, softball, and is a majorette. School is very important to Annika. She keeps good grades while maintaining social and sports life. When she isn't practicing or studying, Annika dedicates some of her time performing community service with church and spends time with her friends and family. Maria Susana Garcia. Maria has been part of the Seal of Biliteracy since her freshman year. She's been a team player on the field hockey team for three consecutive years and also does varsity swim. She's an active member of the Talent Search program aimed to help students succeed in their higher educational goals, as well as the HPREP program, where she explores science and medicine with youth. Kyle Gildner. Kyle is a musical student whose passions have led him to strive for the best. Recently, he has accomplished straight A's in full IB and even got an all-state recommendation as a clarinetist. Tania Goldsboro. Tania Goldsboro is a well-rounded 17-year-old here at Brockton High. Throughout her high school journey, she has not only excelled academically, but has made it to a point to establish an employment history, participate in school clubs, and various sports. In addition, she has used her acquired skills and knowledge, such as training in Alzheimer's and dementia, to service her community, and will continue to do so as she pursues her dream of becoming a nurse. Ashley Gonsalves. Ashley was born in Cape Verde, so she's always trying to make her country proud, working hard to achieve her goals. She has challenged herself as a student by taking AP and IB classes that have rigorous curriculums. She also runs track and cross country, which have helped her acquire new skills and balance her life. Ayana Hunter. Ayana Hunter is an exemplary student driven by community action who actively works to better herself. She has consistently shown her leadership ability through how she has led herself to commit and excel in full IB level classes and how she has led others through times where her voice and opinion has made an impact. Ayana holds herself and her morals to a higher standard and hopes to demonstrate her dedication through the work she will put into National Honor Society. Rakeem Johnson. Rakeem is the kind of person that would rather find himself in the midst of a heated debate than in the quiet confines of the classroom. This isn't to say that he is not studious. He is dedicated to leveraging academic success into lifelong success. He is not sure what he wants to pursue as a career, but he hopes to use his life to cause lasting and impactful change. Chloe Livingston. Chloe being in STEM, she is very involved in her high school, participating in both the cross country and softball team. Chloe also stays involved in her community in many different ways. She is a coach for the Brockton Track Club and the Brockton Youth Softball Team, as well as a junior assistant at her church. During her junior year of high school, she was awarded recognition for her National History Day project from Brockton High School, the best in African or African American history for NHD, and also was accepted into the National Foreign Language Honor Society. Chloe also scored a paying partnership for the Diversity Internship Program at Copeland Toyota, working in the business 
Development Center. Kalasia Lewis. Kalasia is a tenacious, full international baccalaureate student who continues to grow each day. While maintaining superlative grades, she is a cheerleader who wants her best for herself and peers. Kalasia continues to show her strengths and determination by achieving nothing short of her goals. Lacey Moran. She has played varsity field hockey for four years and is a senior captain. She has also played lacrosse for two years and will be a senior captain in the spring. She was a cheerleader for basketball two years. She was a dancer in the spring musical for two years. She is committed to Stonehill College to play field hockey beginning in the fall of 2021. Christian Nichols. Christian is a very motivated and dedicated student. He loves learning and pursues his passion in his free time. He is determined to eventually end up in a career in computer science. Felicity Oliveira. One may describe Felicity as hardworking and extremely dedicated, always positive and filled with motivation. She's been eager to help others. Very sociable with an outgoing personality, Felicity has always been easy to approach. Rihanna Paladines. She loves food, especially fan Spanish food. She's Ecuadorian and was born there. She's a nice and hardworking person. Niral Patel. She speaks three different languages. She's a member of Congress of Future Medical Leaders. She wants to be a physician. Daniel Rateau. Daniel is currently a junior at Brockton High School. He is a member of the school's marching band, advanced concert band, and cross country and swim teams. He hopes to major in computer science and attend school out on the West Coast. Jara Rodriguez. Jara Rodriguez is a high school honor roll student athlete. She demonstrates her leadership qualities both on and off the field as a captain of her club team and the only junior on the girls varsity team this season while still excelling academically. She is excited to attend a four-year college to pursue a degree in nursing while still playing the sport that she has been passionate about for a decade. Caleb Roberto Tavares. Caleb is a curious student who is dedicated to showing love to everyone. He loves to learn about anything and hopes to continue to do so in, a, in and out of school. Caleb plays percussion in the advanced concert band as well as the marching band and volunteers at Children's Church. Nora Thomas. Nora is a member of the school's concert choir and has a passion for singing. She has been in the C C5 Crossroads Leadership Program since 8th grade. Community service with senior citizens is one of her th favorite things to do. Millie Van. Millie is the Vice President of the Asian Club and is involved in other extracurriculars such as Junior Executive, Student Council, and Freshman Mentoring. She has dedicated over 200 hours to volunteering at the Brockton Hospital during the summer. Millie is currently taking IB courses and would love to attend Northeastern University in the hopes to pursue a career in the medical field. Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Alves and I am the Dean of the Azure House. It is with great honor that I preside over the reading of names for the newest inductees of the Azure House to the National Honor Society. B. Bertocci is a proud member of the GSA Club and loves to be with friends. In B's future, they hope to go to college for criminal justice and psychology. B is a very hardworking student and is determined to succeed in everything they do. Nicholas Carpentieri. Nicholas likes to spend his time tutoring elementary students after school. He has also worked with Blessings in a Backpack for more than three years, providing meals for less fortunate students to enjoy over the weekend. Gabriella Clark. Gabriella is a 17-year-old junior at Brockton High. She loves music, singing, dancing, shopping, and painting. Community service with elderly people is one of her favorite things to do. Dominic Damiani. Dominic is a two-year captain of the cross-country team. He has been involved in running and the musical since his freshman year. Dominic plans to study physical therapy in college. Nalaya Dufran. Nalaya was elected as the sophomore class treasurer for the class of 2022. She has a 4.6 GPA and is currently enrolled in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Nalaya is also a part of extracurriculars such as the C5 Leadership Program and Junior Executive Committee and has completed over 100 hours of community service. 
Shawengu Uresi. Shawengu is a very driven student. He is a very diligent worker. He works tirelessly to be successful in everything he does. Alyssa Ferreira. Alyssa is a hardworking student with three years of excellent grades, excellent attendance, and honor roll. She received an award for outstanding achievement and exceptional leadership ability from JROTC. Mesu Fafana. Mesu Fafana is a passionate and hardworking student who has affected her peers and teachers, not only by her academic engagement, but also through her emotional intelligence and wit. She considered herself an external apprentice of life and consecrates her time reconciling her Franco-Guinean background with everything that the United States has to offer. Member and president of many clubs, including the Francophone Club she created, Masu dedicates her time at Brockton High promoting her Guinean heritage and the French language, pouring her soul into offering a little of herself to the world in which she is living. Cheyenne Frazier. Cheyenne has been dancing ever since she was young and plays center for the Lady Boxers Lacrosse team. She loves helping others and her dream job is to be a civil rights attorney. Brady Parkins. Brady played baseball and golf for Brockton High School and was the captain of the golf team. He also takes two AP courses and one IB course with all of his other courses being honors level. Brady also trained for six and a half years to receive his second degree black belt in karate. Karen Kazadi. Karen is very grateful to have been inducted into the National Honor Society. Her favorite subject is English and she enjoys creative writing very much. She also aspires to become a forensic psychologist in her future career. Tamika LaRose. Tamika is a hardworking individual who reflects character, scholarship, and leadership. She is a part of the Brockton Temple Pathfinder Club and takes part in the drum corps and drill team. In addition, she organizes fundraisers and leads classes. Tamika has continuously given back to her community, not only through the Pathfinder Club, but also through other extracurriculars such as Kids Connect and Upward Bound. Renee Rojas. Renee is a powerful first generation woman who is an activist in her community. She is part of the STEM program and has taken part in the STEM extracurriculars such as MLSC apprenticeship program. Renee is also a part of the Brockton Women's Lacrosse team where she is a captain. Saraya Sanon. Saraya is an honor roll student, a recipient of the John and Abigail Adams scholarship and is in the top 8% of her senior class. Ade Ubo. Ade is a Christian girl of Nigerian descent who aspires to be great in all aspects of her life. She enjoys running, playing the clarinet, and occasionally reading. She also aspires to become a medical doctor as her occupation when older, but has other interests like interior design as well. Elise Watt. Elise prides herself on being hardworking and perseverant. She appreciates a challenge and will not let anything get in the way of reaching her goals. She hopes to continue to find success academically and to play a role in improving her community. Kiva Wormsing. Kiva is currently a junior and has been heavily involved in the softball program at Brockton High School for the past three years. Kiva takes her academics very seriously and has been enrolled in multiple high-level classes in the AP and IB program. Besides academics and softball, she has been helping others in her community by volunteering to help the homeless and coaching youth softball. Hello, I'm Mr. Ahern, the Dean of the Yellow House. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the 2020 National Honor Society inductees for the Yellow House. Mara Brandeo. Mara enjoys helping people 
which is why she wants to go into the medical field. She always strives to do the best with anything she puts her mind to. She sees a step back as motivation instead of a failure. Giulio Canuto. Giulio is a hardworking and studious student that has gained this trait through determination and resilience. He has accomplished taking on personal projects on his own and succeeding in his AP classes at Brockton High School. He has spread his knowledge to others around the school by volunteering and tutoring whenever he can because he is passionate about helping others. Jaslyn Depina. Jaslyn is enrolled in all IB classes to challenge herself academically. She is an advanced concert band and she is also part of the C5 leaders. Jasmine Depina. Jasmine Depina has successfully accomplished over 112 hours of community service in the last three years. She has received a C5 Bridges Leadership Expedition Diploma for completing a seven day trek in the mountains of New York. She is enrolled in full IB classes to challenge herself and get a better education. Jadeen Reyes. Jadeen is a metaphysical poet. She believes that the ultimate purpose of human awareness is kindness. She is president of the Cape Verdean American Student Association and founder of the ESL Extra Help Sessions. Angie Jacques. Angie is currently a senior. She's been in Brockton High's JROTC program for four years and is currently the battalion commander. After high school, she is interested in continuing her studies in the field of medicine. Shay McCauley. Shay is a curious, motivated, and highly conscientious senior at Brockton High School who is a member of the marching band and a CCD volunteer of six years. Shay also volunteers for the Michelle A. Logan Family Center, located inside the Raymond School, which focuses on family engagement and bridging the home school connection. Adele Montero. Adele is a 16 year old junior here at Brockton High. She is involved in programs like Crossroads, the C5, as well as Brockton Mayor's Youth Council, which are both leadership and school related programs. She is a young woman focused on obtaining a good future. Brooke Moore. Brooke is a junior enrolled in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. She has made the honor roll every term and was a part of the STEM program. She has been a member of the drama club and choral program since her freshman year. Layla Motamed. Layla is a well-rounded student athlete who exhibits both grit and vigor. She encourages school spirit by cheering for her school's sports teams all while maintaining high grades and intellectual virtue. Layla is always determined to achieve proficiency in all aspects of her life, and she hopes to lead others to do the same. Hawa Najai. Hawa is a very passionate and hardworking young lady who aspires to be successful in the field of medicine. Her hard work and determination has brought her a long way in terms of school and opportunities outside of it. She hopes to learn a lot from NHS as she knows it will help her grow. BJ Allen Pelez. With goals of being in the military, 
BJ takes on challenges that will help him get closer to that goal. He is the current JROTC Alpha Company First Sergeant and has been the captain of the Raiders team since his freshman year. He has completed the Junior Cadet Leadership Challenge at Fort Devens, along with completing a rigorous week at the State Police Academy. Aiming for a high GPA, he ensures that he will have a spot in one of the top military academic schools in the United States. Thomas Pham Thomas Pham was able to maintain straight A's throughout his freshman and sophomore year while playing sports for the school and for a club. He ranked third in his class after his freshman year and sixth after his sophomore year. Thomas has over 150 hours of community service dedicated to his church through his youth group and other programs like bagging lunches for the poor. Jasia Sichter Going into junior year with five years of perfect attendance, Jasia has been on the honor roll every term in high school. She spins rifle and flag in color guard. And in drama club, she has been stage manager, social media ambassador, and won an award in excellence in set design. Jasia also dedicates her time being secretary of the Asian club and reminds everyone to wear a mask. Giovanni Sosa. Giovanni is a young man who is a determined, hardworking student focused on his future. He is persistent and doesn't give up easily on his goals. He is competitive and doesn't like to lose. But when he doesn't succeed, he learns from his mistakes, so the next time he can reach his goals. In addition, he is a helpful person and sometimes a little bit just a little bit crazy. In his opinion, humans are not robots that are programmed to do something. He believes that each person only gets one life. And because of this, you must have fun, work hard, make friends, never give up on your dreams, and most importantly, have your loved ones close to you. Mamadou Chamo. Mamadou is a dedicated, hardworking student that commits to anything he puts his mind to. He is a person who is willing to help others. Mamadou is a respectful person who is open to new ideas because we can all learn and grow. Samantha Thevenin Samantha is an intelligent, ambitious, and determined young woman who strives in her AP and IB classes. She has a strong interest in becoming a biochemist or a pharmacist in the future. Her goal is to one day help develop medications to fight deadly diseases and viruses. Denise Thomas. Denise is grateful for the opportunity to be selected into the National Honor Society. After applying in the previous year, she was driven to acquire more accomplishments in the field of extracurriculars, leadership, work experience, community service, and awards. She is excited about what the National Honor Society holds for her and others this year. Danielle Torres Danielle is a hardworking individual. She takes pride in what she does and strives for the best in others. She is very outgoing and friendly towards everyone. Mrs. Baker and I want to congratulate all of our Yellow House superstars on earning the privilege to be a part of the National Honor Society. We are so proud to be your Dean and Assistant Dean, and we challenge you to continue to strive towards your goals. Congratulations, Yellow House. All members will now join us to recite the National Honor Society Pledge. Please raise your right hands and repeat each line of the pledge after I recite it. I pledge myself to exemplify the high standards of the National Honor Society through my actions and thoughts. I strive to make myself, my family, my community, 
and Brockton High School proud. As a member, I understand the capacity for which I am endowed to heed the call for helping others in the community. Even when no recognition is forthcoming, to be an example and an inspiration for my fellow students and to uphold the ethical principles of honesty and integrity. I am and will continue to be true to the four principles for which this organization stands. Thus, I do pledge myself to the National Honor Society in its call for scholarship, service, leadership, and character. 